Yeah, I know. These latest two titles of my show have been kind of cryptic. Just seeing if you're paying attention. So I've noticed a theme lately. Not a theme. A phenomena, you would call it. No. I found something strange happening lately. And that is the recurring color of red associated with many recent world events. Now, this is something that is not really discussed as much as it should be, but it will be. From what I understand, it has been an issue for a few people in certain places already. You have probably already heard the warnings from other people about iron oxide dust, right? Which is not too far-fetched if you have the right elements from the right place. That would be an issue, not good. One of the reasons I talk slow and present material in a simple fashion is to make it more absorbable. That is one of the reasons I will use certain words and phrases to emphasize certain expressions that I want to go deep. I want you to walk away from these presentations thinking, not thinking about what if, but thinking about what is. Think about this, the government, they couldn't possibly tell you about everything in the whole world, and they don't have to. We can see it for ourselves, and with a little knowledge, logic, and intuition, we can come to an understanding of what's what. I mean, we know what red is. You know, I think what we are expecting of our society leaders to do is to point out or address the obvious in a manner that is satisfactory to our why didn't you tell me mentality. And it's okay. It is their secrecy that has led us to our suspicions. And I'm telling you, that is how the devil gets you. He doesn't make stuff up. It's too much like fiction. Instead, he twists reality enough for you to think in the direction he wants. And really, who do you ask about something like this? Information is spread out amongst them. You can't just go to the White House and demand answers because their information is going to have to come from someone else, some other institution that does know. I think it's time we stop worrying about what they are going to tell us and just rely on what we can find out for ourselves. If they tell us anything, great. But folks, don't hold your breath. I don't know about you, but I'm not waiting for them to tell me a thing. I'm not saying that I know everything, but I'm not waiting for them to know nothing. So, what do we have here? It seems that what we feared is actually happening. Let me ask you all a question. Do you think there is another reason besides the virus that they've been pushing masks? Now, I'm not talking about they want to control the population reason, but something else. I think it's stranger than that. You all know about conditioning, right? People in the military should know what I'm talking about when it comes to the government conditioning. In other words, I don't know if they are pushing the mask because of public health concerns or are pushing the mask to get us used to wearing masks that we will eventually have to get used to wearing because of what's coming. And trust me folks, it is coming. And the red is a major sign and indicator of that coming. Do not expect things to hit us all at once because it's a slow burn. It's the frog in a slow boiling pot of water, do you see? Over the past few years, how many bodies of water have you heard about turning red? Blood red? Hmm. 
Hmm? How many? How many? Lose count? It's been quite a few, actually. Too many. And it's funny because I think sometimes we see these things happen. And we don't think they are going to happen again anytime soon. So we soon forget about it. But these things keep happening. Over and over. I'm telling you. There is going to come a time when your knowledge of something is going to have to override what you see. Because what you may see, you may not believe. How many of you remember the reports of a blood red substance leaking out of the glaciers in Antarctica? Well, in the case of Antarctica, it is either the result of iron or algae. Now, most of us understand that there is prophecy of things turning blood red. Revelation 8.8 8, the second angel blew his trumpet, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood. Then, Revelation 16.3, the second angel poured out his bowl into the sea, and it became like the blood of a corpse, and every living thing died that was in the sea. But that's all the salt water. So right after that, in Revelation 16.4-7, the third angel poured out his bowl into the rivers and the springs of water, and they became blood. And I heard the angel in charge of the water say, Just are you, O Holy One, who is and who was, for you brought these judgments. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink. It is what they deserve. And I heard the altar saying, Yes, Lord God, the Almighty. True and just are your judgments. So that's now all the fresh water. So now all the drinking water is contaminated. By the way, just keep in mind the first angel to pour out his bowl does, does so after people bear the mark of the beast and worship its image. And we are going to get into that in another presentation shortly. You have seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven bowls. This actually seems like three waves of events here because the description of each event is slightly different, although some may seem like they are the same event at first glance. Revelation actually makes more sense when you try not to think about it too hard. You know, when I was a kid, I'll be honest, I don't remember any blood moons. If there were any, I don't recall them. Today, they're like a normal thing. How'd that happen? Hey, there was a blood moon last night. Oh yeah, that's cool. I saw one the other day. That's the conversation now, folks. Do you? I, I can't even keep up anymore. We used to get a heads up on these things. Now I don't get the news about blood moons until after they happen. Do you all realize that we have moved past the point of naming each blood moon? Like super blood moon, super wolf moon, pink moon, whatever. Now they're just all blood moons again. Because there's so many. Who cares what kind of blood moon it is anymore? In the book of Acts and in the book of Joel it reads, Joel 2.31 The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. And in Acts 2.20 the sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the day of the Lord comes, the great and magnificent day. And now apparently, I don't know if you've heard, but the moon is literally turning red. This is not some light trick of the sun on our eyes. The moon is turning red. They believe the moon is rusting, and they once again claim they don't know how or why. So they have come up with some very convincing theories, but they are not conclusive because from what they understand about the moon, it's not supposed to do that. And it's very hard to rewrite things in the scientific community. Right now, there is a phenomenon occurring in the California skies. They are from a yellow to deep red color. Remember, California has had fires before. Was anybody reporting red skies like this? Actually, yes. The sun shining through the smoke will make the sky a reddish hue. But, but, we do have an iron oxide problem that is not being addressed. 
It will be because it's going to become a nuisance very soon. When everything starts to get covered in this red dust, once the rain starts to come down red, once you have to start hosing off your cars and homes because of the red film forming, it's happening already in certain places. I'm telling you, this agenda with these masks, I don't know, but very soon we may have to wear more than just that to go outside. People who have experienced dust storms, ask them, they know you're not getting around that, especially red dust. Imagine coughing up red dust, blowing red dust into a tissue. Ew, bloody, right? That's why I'm telling you, it's not going to be pretty when this happens. And it's going to freak a lot of people out beyond belief. And we all know what happens when people freak out. Until next time, folks, there is much, much more madness to come. Stay tuned. God bless you all. Stay awake, stay aware, stay safe. And I'll talk to you all soon.